time for a short tour around Birmingham Airport. So I've just arrived here at Car Park 7, one of the cheapest car parks around Birmingham Airport. Always keep your car park ticket with you. So I've just parked up and there's my bus I need to catch before I miss it. Now majority of the Birmingham Airport car parks provide free bus service that will take you straight to the airport on their designated road. Now it won't take you that long to wait for one as they are just going around the airport and making their way back. The closer you wish to park the more expensive parking will get and their prices are ridiculous. Here at the drop off car park the first 30 minutes is free. After that the charges kick in starting from £5. In car park 4 there is a place where you can view the planes and I will come to that shortly. Right now let's get off from our stop and explore. Opposite is your short stay car park which is now called premium drop off with the highest car park charge rate. If you're getting late for your flight and someone is dropping you off or someone is out of the arrivals and waiting to be picked up, this is the car park you need to be if you're not concerned about their rates. Now for the blue badge holders they can park at this car park for one hour for free. To take advantage of this service you need to present your entry ticket and your blue badge at the NCP customer service desk. Trolleys used to be free, now it's been a while they have been charging a pound for a trolley. Car park maps are situated in most places. This is the main entrance of the airport which will lead you to the arrivals. Arrival times are situated everywhere. Now if the wait is going to be long and you need to sit down and have a drink, then right opposite there's a coffee shop where you can relax and still check upon those who are arriving. Bins are situated in most places. Travel locks and adapters are in some shops if you wish to require them in the last minute. If you guys require a vehicle then car rental hire is available from different companies. Personally myself I would recommend Hertz as I've been dealing with them for many years now and their service is excellent with top of the range vehicles for you to choose. Now these touchscreens provides you with the latest information on rail and bus departures, local maps and much more. A list of useful numbers and general information at this meeting point. If you need assistance travelling around the airport then head over to the assisted travel reception. Need the internet in an emergency to surf the web or print off some documents? Well this little computer hub will help you do that charging at a rate of 10p per minute and to print a page it's £1. Currency exchange ATMs and receptionists are available throughout the airport. Ablution, baby change and disabled toilets are available. Need to make a phone call or someone to call you back? You can do so as many telephones are provided throughout the airport. Now if you want to beat the queue you can self check in at the touchscreen monitors that are available. After here you can check off your luggage at this self service station. Oversized luggage such as wheelchairs etc need to be checked and dropped off through here. Now here they do provide a multi faith room and inside it's quite spacious and clean throughout. Here is the direction to pray for the Muslims. In the cabinets they also provide holy books and prayer mats. We have Islam, Sikhism, Buddhism, Hindu, Judaism and Roman Catholic Christian. Right, going further down the airport, we have a photo booth that can take your photo for any identity card. Now coming to the airlines, there are many, just to name a few. TUI, which was formerly known as Thompson's, Jet2, Swiss, KLM, PIA, Air India, Emirates, Turkish Airlines, Thomas Cook, Lufthansa Airlines, British Airways and many more. Departure and arrival times are clearly stated on screens everywhere so you won't miss your flight. Right so that was on the ground floor, time to discover the first floor. In this part you can park up your trolleys once you come from the lift as these trolleys are not allowed through the departures. More currency exchange ATMs, two more computers here for web browsing, recycling bins and a self-checking station. 
I guess this piano will keep you amused while you wait for your flight. They got the toilets, telephones, the arcade, bars, cafes and the departures where passengers are only allowed from this point. Now if you're coming from the train station or from its car park, you can get on the shuttle that takes you straight to the airport. If you're heading back, this will also lead you to the resorts world and the NEC. Now that will be another tour for another video. Guys, if you're interested in any career with the Birmingham airport, well, they have many jobs online that might interest you. Right, on my way back to the airport, down the lift, to the ground floor, and I've come across a luggage weighing machine, which cost a pound. It's always handy to carry your own scales. Walking straight down towards the first entrance of the airport, and you'll come across more shops, arcades, departures, and much more. You can reclaim VAT on some items if you are non-EU resident. Make sure you keep your receipt from the store and get a 407 form. Hand it in to the currency exchange office for a VAT refund. Ordered any goods from Amazon? Well, you can get them picked up from here. Over here, they have special seating for those who need special assistance. More check-in stations. Right, I'm done from here, time to jump on this bus and go to car park 4 to get the best spot to view some planes. Driving to car park 4 takes only a few minutes and it's right next door. Right, if you have hired out any vehicles from reception, then this is where you will pick up and drop them back once you're done. This car park charges £5 and pence up to 1 hour. Now the viewing area will be on the top right of the car park. On a nice sunny day like this, it's best to take out the kids for a little tour around the airport and to admire the planes taking off and landing. And I guess it's coming near to an end of my tour for today. So I'm walking it back to the bus stop. Now this walk-in shelter is something new they have developed. It starts off from the drop-off car park straight to the airport. A really good investment they have made for the passengers and visitors. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Right, my day is done, time to catch the bus back to car park 7. Had a great time exploring the Birmingham airport. I remember when I was a little kid, we used to come here just to view the planes. And so much has changed since then, especially the parking charges. If you are coming to the airport and planning to park, then you can book your space online on the NCP website. And I'm sure there are discount codes available too. So once you have paid, you only have 15 minutes to exit. These are the current tariffs for this car park, which are much cheaper than others. If you have any questions regarding this tour, I'll be happy to answer them. Just leave them in the comment section below. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this little tour of Birmingham Airport. And I shall catch you guys in the next one. Peace.